today we are going to be opening up this beauty right here. So I took a little drive uh, to Tuesday mornings. That drive is about 40 minutes away from me. So I don't do it very often, but I just decided to take a little drive. I was a little stressed. So I took a drive and I decided to stop at Tuesday mornings and I found a lot of beauties, lots of beauties. Um, they have really cool ones right now. And I picked up a few, but today I want to share with you this gorgeous, beautiful thing right here. She is pretty, my God, pretty, pretty, pretty. And I want to just show her to you. Really, really, really go into her and see if it is something that you might take that trip for. Super excited. So we're going to begin. This is the Barbie... Um gold label collection and and this is it says right here at the bottom gold label collection i i'm not sure where she's from or what but she is really cute the box was not in very good condition um much better much much better she looks way better so i'm not sure where she's from or what's the deal but I wanted to show you guys the face mold. This is the face mold of the Puma uh, girl. I, I believe that she is darker. I think she is darker. You know, the Puma, I'm going to like insert a picture right here. The Puma with the, um, uh, with the pink highlights. So I just love that face mold. And I really wanted to pick up that doll because of that reason. I love the face mold. Um, so I was super excited when I actually found her with the same face mold and short hair. Oh, I love short hair. I think she looks amazing, amazing, amazing. So I picked her up for $29.99. Yes. I was sure she was $50. I'm not even gonna lie. I was sure she was $50. I was sure. Ooh, we're gonna have issues. I'm moving too much so the autofocus is not going to be a good um, thing for us right now. So I'm actually going to try to get her out of the box without damaging the box because I actually really like it and maybe I won't put her back, but you never know. Maybe I will. Um, I just think she's really pretty really really pretty um this is gonna be a pain to get out like a real pain without damaging the box so you have to care be careful with the dress because it's like sewed in there so when you are trying to pull it out make sure you grab it really good so you don't damage the dress so we are going to rip that off and just let the tabs fold in the tabs and push them through I know my nails are not being nice to me they're not helping in any sh shape or form <laughs> at all All right, so she comes with, so she comes with her stand, which, nice, and then she looks like this. So I want to show her to you. Her face is so pretty, so pretty. I just love her face. Yes. So I want to focus on her face. She looks really pretty. She has articulation on the. Oh, I hate when they do this. Look at this. So she's not made to move in her arms. 
but she does have nice articulation. The dress, my God, look at these details. They're so pretty. This is not, it's not that I ripped it. It's the lace that I'd actually hold it together. Let's see if I can take it off. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. She is wearing these cute, very cute heels. Her feet are not made to move. She has just the flat, um, I want to call it the model feet. <laughs> but she does have made to move knees. Which to me, it's really, really annoying that this happens. It's very annoying because you should have just made it, you should have just made it all made to move, but she's really pretty. I just love her dress. It's so pretty. Um, her torso is not made to move. I'm, I'm pretty sure we are going to undress her right here real quick. If I can get that to open. Wow, they have that close, but yeah, you can tell there's no joint here, so she is not made to move. She is like what I like to call now a Frankie doll, and why I call it a Frankie doll is because they have a mixture of the different type of dolls they do. So Barbie does the made to move, they do the regular articulation, which to me this is articulation. Um, and then you have the made to move on the knees and then you have the model feet. So it has a mixture of all their different ones. Um, uh, except the fashionista, of course. Um, but I really love her face and I think she is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I have her in my collection. And all right, everyone. So I have decided that this cutie, this beautiful young lady needs to be set. You know what I mean? We need to... Wash out all that gel. We need to get her in a made to move body. So I actually went through my stash and I have like boxes of new uh, made to move dolls. And I found her right here. So I have her already, but I love this doll. So I don't want to make her a body donor, right? And have an extra one so I had been thinking maybe of selling her because I know that it's not easy to come by but I just can't you know what I mean I just can't I, I have to like get her out of there and transfer make her a body donor so I'm going to do that and yeah so let's open her up and make her a body donor So this camping Barbie is going to become her body donor. Yes. So let's get started. All right, so I got a bowl of hot water. We are going to, first of all, check for distress points. And by that, I mean like when it starts going white, but she has none. And your little baggy sandwich bag or whatever. And we're gonna dunk her in there and we're just gonna let her chill 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 for a little bit and i think we should get the other one doing going to we're gonna grab her and we are going to grab both of them and just dunk them in there for a while. Woo! Well, 
I have never done it this way. I'm going to be completely honest. I always do it um, with the hair dryer, but, um, but um, I was told that this is a better method. So we are going to try it. And I'm not sure how long this has to be for. Because seriously, with the hair dryer, it's like a 20 second thing. And it usually works really good. Yay, one down. And then we have this one to go. I'm going to dump drain a little bit longer because I don't believe the other one is ready. The other one I kind of... Do you know her hair is so pretty? So we're just going to go for it. All right. So no matter how hot it was, that was brutal. So she needed a lot more help. Her face was really stiff and I had to really get her out of there. So here is the made to move. We're just going to push her through. And here we go. We have her in a made to move body. Yes. And we're absolutely not going to waste her and she has a good body and we're going to actually donate her the head because even though it's not a made to move body it's still a good body and she can still make another person very very happy so here we go we have made her into a made to move super excited i love her i think she's absolutely gorgeous and i have donated the head to the other body and i'm going to be completely honest i am not planning on keeping her i already have her and um i am probably going to be selling her um i don't know if you want to check out my macari that's where i'll be putting all of my dolls that i am going to declutter because i have way too many and I have shrunk down in size completely so I need to get them out of the boxes out of the uh, bins that I have them in and I actually want to be able to display them and whatever can't be displayed is going to go bye bye so um she is probably going to be in my Macari I will link it down below if you're interested in checking it out and this young lady is going into my collection. I'm super excited. She looks amazing. There we go, dolls. We actually made her into a made to move. I'm loving her. I'm so happy to have her into my collection. I just am super excited and I can't wait to play with her. She looks really, really cool. And I love her. I love her face. I love her eyes. I love her lips. I love her hair. It's just amazing. So I'm super excited. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye dolls.